Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe Stuhl with a tutorial video on modding space engineers. This will be the setup for using Herog's plugin with Blender. So to jump right into things, Herog's plugin is at this website. All the links I'll be talking about will be in the description of the video below. This plugin has a little bit of setup that has confused some people and I'd like to just go over it to make sure it's a very simple process for everybody. First things first, we need to get the plugin. So you go ahead and you scroll down until it gets to installing the add-on. Go ahead and click current version and it should take you to this website. This is GitHub. This is Herog's GitHub specifically. Come down here and you'll see Blender Space Engineers 064. Go ahead and download that zip. And that's the first piece of the puzzle we need. Next, you need to get Blender. There's the official Blender website. There is Blender on Steam. And there's the method I like to go with because I need to squeeze every ounce I can out of my computer. Is this graphicall.org website. On the right here you can see that there's Blender Optimize 64-bit in Windows, but you'll choose what you need. And then I usually go with whatever one says fastest build. Next, if you don't know how to use Blender, use these tutorials. Born CG has put together some amazing tutorials for using Blender for modeling. He goes in depth with everything. He has older tutorials and he's got some fairly new ones as well. So just go watch him if you need to learn how to use Blender. I'll skip over aspects of modeling when I'm doing my modding videos, so it'd be a good idea for you to do this. <coughs> Next, there's Havoc that we have to get, and Microsoft recently took it down from being free to download, and we have to have some way to get it so people can have proper collision meshes with their models. So I have a couple Mediafire links. There's a couple links on uh, Harag's forum page that discusses it. Uh, I'll have my Mediafire links below. And if requested, I could provide some Dropbox links as well, because I know not everybody trusts Mediafire, but I've not had any issues with them. Next, if you're running a fairly fresh install Windows, you might need to get these Visual C++ redistributable for Visual Studio 2012 Update 4. This more or less will let things work how they're supposed to. Just go ahead and click download, follow the prompts, make sure you get your operating system bit version. So I have 64 bit, so that's what I got. You can get both, and it won't hurt you. It'll just take up extra control panel space. Next, you need some way to edit textures. I personally use GIMP. I like GIMP. Here you can see there's a couple ways to get it. It's either via torrent or downloading it directly. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. I usually just go with directly because it's a fairly small download. Next, you need some way to edit DDS files, which is the texture format that Space Engineers uses. To get those, you come to this other website, where you can then go over here on the left, and you can see that there's Win32 and Win64. Go ahead and just click on which one you need. I need Win64, so I got that. Another option is Paint.net. This has uh, DDS editing within it automatically, but I've not used it so I can't provide too much information on it. It's pretty simple to download. The link is over here and you should get it from there. Next, you need some way to edit the text files. I personally suggest Notepad++ because it gives you line numbers for all the lines and makes life so much easier for debugging and writing XML code and all kinds of other stuff. It's it's a godsend. To get it you just come over here to the download page and then you can just click download and you'll get the latest version. 
Next, we need to get the mod SDK if you want to look at ever messing with the vanilla blocks. I suggest looking at the vanilla blocks from Space Engineers because they can give you a lot of ideas of how things are put together. So you can just go ahead and click on free and it should automatically put it on your Steam account and it should automatically start downloading. Okay, so as we can see, we got pretty much everything here. We got Blender, we got the Habit tools. As you can see, it says the free offering has been discontinued. But Media Fire Links, Dropbox, this forum thread has some links on it. So you can get it. Next, we needed the uh, Havoc FBX importer. So just go ahead and click that again if you need to go get it. The MWM Builder, we'll get that from the mod SDK. And then you need to get the add-on. And that pretty much covers most all of it. Here you can see there's that vCredits thing. And that's from the uh, Microsoft website. Alright, so you've downloaded everything and you're trying to figure out how to do what you need to do with everything. So go ahead to your Downloads folder. And we'll just start with Blender. So here this is how the format is set up from that graphic all that website that I downloaded from. So I'm just going to go ahead and export it. And you can see I already did. And I go into the folder structure and you can see it has everything you need. There's no install, it's just copy paste. So I'm going to put this over to the side and I'm going to open up another window. And I like to have my stuff sort of structured in a weird way. I'm just going to take this Blender 3D folder that has all the Blender information in it and copy it over to this 4 dot initial additional folder on the uh, C drive <coughs> and let that complete. I am then going to edit the folder name because I have a shortcut that I use and I don't want to have to redo that. Alright, so as you can see everything's here. You can just right click this and send to desktop or however you want to do it. I have one right here. Alright, so next we need to let's go ahead and install the plugin for Blender from Harag. So this will pop up. You can see I have some mods here but what I want you to do is go to File, User Preferences, and I want you to click Install from File. So then you need to go to where you downloaded it. As I sift through all the folders. And you'll notice that I didn't extract the uh, zip file at all. It's still compressed. So you go ahead and you just click on that. Click install from file. And then you'll scroll down some and you'll see a Space Engineers link on the left side. And go ahead and click that. You can see there's a Space Engineers and an Anima script one as well. I'll get to that in another video. But here you can see the block tools. Go ahead, click the check mark right here and then we need to get all this stuff filled out so you want to go and click here locate where you have your uh, space engineers installed for me it's one dot games steam steam apps common and then space engineers and then bing no what was it i was getting i was getting the game directory so you come back here, go to the game directory, press accept. Then you need to get the MWM builder, click here. In here you can see up here it goes 1.games, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Space Engineers, Tools, and then MWM builder. As you can see it's Space Engineers folder, Tools, 
and the builder. And then you click on the EXE, click Accept. Next, we need the FBX importer and the standalone filter manager. And you get that by coming back into your folder where you have everything downloaded. Go ahead and extract that to a folder. And then you need to open that up. And you can see it's by itself. And we need to install Havoc. So just go ahead and click on that. as it boots up. Click Next. I agree. You don't need to check mark any of these. Next. And then choose where you want it to install. Here, mine's installing into 4.additional slash havoc. So I'll go to that folder. So 4.additional and havoc. And havoc content tools take the FBX importer and go ahead and put it into that folder as well. Come back to Blender and then you can see that you have these here that you can select. The FBX importer, so you just need to go to where you have Havoc installed, so four dot additional Havoc, Havoc content tools, and FBX importer, and it adds it there. And then you need the standalone filter manager so we're looking for that and it's this one right here that says HCT standalone filter manager exe accept and then make sure you save user settings and then you can go ahead and close the configuration window mine's darker because I have it set to a different preference I like the darker theme and mine is uh, I think it was energy. Yeah, so it's this darker theme with orange. I like it because it's easier on the eyes, especially at nighttime. All right. So that pretty much covers everything for Blender. When you're in this base scene on this button here, which is the scene tab, you should see a space engineers block and this should be unchecked once you first install it and this is what you need to check and I'll set things up to make it so you can use it but we'll cover that further in a, another video so I just want to go ahead and close that so here you can install GIMP if you want to do that and it's a super simple setup it's not special in any way but the DDS part is a little bit tricky. You need to make sure that you take the DDS file from the uh, download that you got. It was zipped as GIMP DDS Win64 3.0.1. So here it's README DDS. README tells you where you need to take it. For me, I believe it was in the GIMP folder lib gimp 2.0 and plugins and then you just copy this right over to here now as you can see I should have it already somewhere I just scrolled past it apparently it's right there and now your gimp installation will be able to use DDS files and I'll cover that further in another tutorial and doing that icons, textures, DirectX 11, DirectX 9, all that business. Alright, so we got GIMP installed, Notepad++, super simple as well. Just go through the installation process, select your language next, agree to these license, and then where you install it. I already have it installed, so here you can see it right there. Super simple, nothing complicated. And then you may need to install one of these. Those were those Microsoft Visual C++ business. If you run into a certain error, you might need to install it. I'd probably just install it just in case to uh, prevent that problem. So that pretty much covers everything that we needed to install. So we got Blender right here. And then we installed the plugin right here. 
and we got the FBX importer installed and Havoc installed so we could give our models collision. We installed the uh, libraries just in case we run into issues. We got GIMP and the DDS plugin and Notepad++. So that pretty much covers everything there. I'll cover most everything else in another tutorial so I don't have super long videos. If you have any questions feel free to comment below and I hope this answered most everybody's questions. Have a good day.